Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Sun By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner. This product retails for $22. By the way, if you didn't see my short form video saying this is in Walmart, I did not realize that Sun By Me was being carried in Walmart. They have their Miracle Toner, their Miracle Cream, and their Miracle Serum there. I'm beyond excited because that is easily accessible. I think I paid about $16 for this product there. It's been a long time coming with this product. This is a holy grail product for so many people, and I'm excited to try it because their Miracle cream did have a lot of fragrance in it. It seemed to work great for my skin, but this product has very little fragrance and the concentration of actives are not overwhelming in this product, so I am excited to try out this product. Now, I couldn't find whether or not this product was vegan, but Sun By Me is not a cruelty-free brand and they do have some fragrance in it. Like I said, it's not much, but if you are sensitive to it, then definitely avoid this product. The main things I'll be looking for with this product mainly include does it cause any sensitivity, what results do I see with it, and how often do I feel like I can and use it. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I've used it once and it didn't cause any sensitivity. I got a comment on my Miracle Cream video saying that this was a very gentle toner and I am seeing that so far. I think this is one of the first AHA, BHA, and PHA products that has not caused any initial stinging, especially in a toner form. So the texture, oh gosh, I always make such a mess with these. The texture is this beautiful lightweight toner feel. Now, the fragrance is there, but I do feel like this is one of the most least potent fragrances out of at least what I've tried so far with the Miracle Cream. I do feel like that you could actually use this every day, which I don't know that I would personally do that, but with how gentle this is, it's supposed to have a very low concentration of actives in it. I do feel like I could possibly use this every day, but like I said, not sure if I would. I've personally been using it every other day and it's been working perfect. I am gonna take a cotton round just swipe over specifically my problem areas. I've been struggling with acne so bad on my forehead. And then I have this one little visitor right here that I want to go away so fast. But yeah, no sensitivity whatsoever. I don't personally exfoliate my chin area as often because I am a little bit more dry and I'll experience sensitivity. So far, this is a very gentle option. I'm not experiencing any sensitivity. Obviously, do go in with a moisturizer after this product, but it's overall a very gentle option. So far, I'm hoping that will continue. I'm going to see what results I notice with it and what else I notice with this product. So I will see you all in the next check. -in. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. I can safely say this is my favorite product from this collection so far. So even though it is an AHA, BHA, and PHA toner, it was extremely gentle in my opinion. And also I feel like compared to the Miracle Cream, this was a little bit more light on the fragrance. Even though the fragrance is still there and if you are really sensitive to it, I wouldn't recommend going for this product. But the fragrance was very minimal in this toner and I feel like it is my preference when comparing it to the Miracle Cream. Thank you all for recommending me try this because I do love this toner way more than I did the Miracle Cream. Both were great options, but I feel like this one was a little bit more gentle, a little bit more light with the fragrance, and I also feel like it was very effective with results. I experienced no sensitivity with it, and it also showed great benefits to my skin with my texture, my acne, my hyperpigmentation, I saw a subtle difference with, and also just my overall skin skin hydration as well. I do feel like this product is gentle enough to use every day, but if you are newer to using actives, I would start out and use this maybe once to twice a week and then build up from there. This product was extremely gentle considering it was a triple acid exfoliant. And honestly, it is one of my favorite ones that I've tried. If you are wanting a fragrance-free option, I would recommend the Hero Cosmetics Chemical Exfoliant, but this is a great option. I found this to be even just a little bit more gentle than that product product, but they both are very gentle options. That product just doesn't have fragrance. This one does have a little bit. It is a great option and I would 100% recommend trying it. The hype behind this product is completely justified. This product has really helped my skin overall and I really cannot recommend it enough. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.